Jesus Christ! What? It's hard to tell whether it tones one of depression, anger, or both. It's both, my friend. Yes, it's both. What in the world can I actually do to help her if she doesn't even want help? Then you force it. The message is clear enough. I can't just leave her like this, though. So. Just sitting in here, who? Just sitting in a room for days on end. Dear God, shut up, music! You will not break me. I won the battle in Hanako's Ark. I will win this battle. Running my temple in fort, I withdraw to my own room to think about how to proceed. Rationally is what rationality is what's needed here, as an overreaction may just make matters worse. Oh God! Useless twat! I dig around my I dig around I dig around drawer after drawer of my desk, looking for where I put that damned piece of paper. Before she left, Lily told me the number to call her on while in Scotland, and I wrote it down. Oh! Parallel Universe event. Now that I need it, though, the damn thing is... Ah, here. I probably should have just entered it directly into my cell phone. Come to think of it. Come to think of it. Without further ado, I enter the numbers and anxiously press the call button. The fact the phone rings at all shows that I got the prefix for a call to Scotland right, at least. I've never made an international call before, so that's some comfort. Eventually, the phone picks up a feminine voice I don't recognize on the other end. It's probably Lily's mother. Dear God, this again. English, suddenly finding myself unprepared, I realize I can't understand a word she says, either due to my limited vocabulary or her heavy accent. I should have anticipated this, since according to Lily, her mother is a native Scot. Soldier on! I shall sh soldier on in the hope that she must know some Japanese, considering it's her daughter's native language. Um, it's a sound of Kai speaking. An enthusiastic sound of re realization can be heard as she recognizes the language. My feeling of relief is immense. I feel nothing. Ah, you must be one of Lily's friends from school, correct? No, I'm a stalker. Even so, her accent means I have to concentrate to work out what she's saying. Yes, that's right. Pleased to speak to you, Mrs. Satow. It's so nice to hear it... What? Here! It's so nice of her to find someone so polite. Lily, dear, it's for you. Dear God, butchering everything in this game. Her mother seems nice. Damn it, chair. If a little over-enthusiastic, given the mundane situation... It's a small silence as Lily takes her time getting to the phone. In the distance, I can just make out her mother scolding her playfully for just getting up. Hello, Lily speaking. You sound awful. She makes a sound somewhere between a dying animal and a yawn. The one thing I did remind... Remind? Remind? What? Remember to check before calling was the time zone. It'd be pretty late in the morning over there, so she really has no excuse. Not feeling well? Just tired. What time is it there? Late afternoon. School finished for the day, so day not long ago. You're really not a morning person, are you? I don't need you making fun of it as well. <laughs> it takes me some... It takes me a measure of restraint not to laugh at her pained groan. Poor girl. This isn't why we called! How are you, how are you doing over there, then? Bar the, bar the mornings, what? It's enjoyable. After not meeting them for so long, just having a meal together with my parents is nice. Though the pool and the sheer size of the house might have something to do with that as well. Even if they're not in Japan, from the way it sounds, her family must be pretty wealthy to live so luxuriously. Are things alright with you and Hanako? Oh, there we are, the music ended. Damn, I was hoping that wouldn't be brought up quite so quickly. I take a moment to try and sort out exactly how to describe the situation without causing her undue worry, but she picks up on that without a word being said. Oh, God. Hanako's not well, is she? 
How did you know? Because today is her birthday. I'd hoped she might have gotten at least a little better after coming to know you, but... How is she right now? She hates me! She missed school yesterday and seemed out of sorts when I checked up on her. Today she missed school again and just told me to go away. I've really got no idea what to make of it. Has this happened in the past? Is it related to her scarring in some way? Unfortunately so. Roughly the same thing happened last year when her birthday came up. As far as I can tell, it's because her parents died in the accident that caused her scarring, and Hanako blames herself for their deaths. What she says does seem to make sense. If she's blaming herself on her birthday, she may she may well be ruining that she was ever born. The fact that Lily seems so in the dark about it though, almost to the extent that I am, is a surprise. So that's why she lives in the student dormitories as well? Has she told you any more about the accident? As close as we've come, she's barely told me anything about what happened. What I know about it is largely conjecture. She sounds depressed, almost defeated, considering the trauma Hanako must have gone through, I really can't fault Lily for not knowing. Nevertheless, she still seems to consider it a personal failing. Oh, God! Don't blame yourself, Lily, with everything she's gone through. I know. Thank you, Rousseau. I'm sorry I can't be of more help to you. It's fine. I'll just, I'll just give it some thought. Thanks, and have a good time in Scotland. Um... I... Hmm? It's nothing. Thank you for taking care of Hanako. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. And with that, the line goes silent. My voice is dying! Ugh! Amid the seemingly only increased number of questions I can answer, the most immediate is what Lily was going to say. Oh. Oh no. I'm an idiot. Baka baka baka! <laughs> oh, what? 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 I didn't say anything. What are you trying to say, you filthy bastards? <laughs> she must have thought I was calling to talk with her, but I only asked for help with Hanako. Even more shameful than that thought is the fact that such an appraisal would be largely correct. Well, first things first. But now I need to at least sort out Hanako and make sure that she's actually eating, okay? The occasional passing students, useless twits, give b badly hidden glances at the plate of food I carry to the female dormitories. What you gonna say? Fear my unlimited power. It's hardly a meal to be proud of. Only being an instant microwave meal from the convenience store, but it should at least fill her up. Hopefully. Eventually I arrive outside of her room after having to wave... Hold on a minute. I'm back. Eventually I arrive outside of her room after having to ward off a couple of girls who jokingly try to pilfer the food I'd taken so long to pr procure. I decide to forego knocking since the oh, damn it chair since it was proven to be an utterly useless measure and it's somewhat difficult to do with my hands full. Hanako, it's a sow. I'm going to destroy you. I'm kidding. I'm a horrible person. I know you're listening. I got some food for you. Silence as expected. I'll leave it beside your door. Please eat it at least, okay? There, I said my piece. Now it's up to her. Door opening? No? Oh, balls. Putting the plate down, I walk back to my own room to eat my dinner. No, we didn't. By the time I return to Hanako's dormitory, a good hour's passed. Thankfully, there isn't anything to be seen beside her door. I walk back at least somewhat happier that she's eating. If she intends to get through this by herself, then being able to help, even if it's just in such a small way, is at least something. Oh dear god. 
Well, it feels like you lot will be feeling in this episode, huh? Oh god, what's going on? <laughs>